Hello everyone, this is Dan here and today I want to show you a nice compact fully automatic cobblestone generator that produces just a bit over 12,000 cobblestone per hour and naturally takes or uses up I should say 1500 arrows per hour. Now as you have probably already guessed or seen by now this does use the wither boss to break the cobblestone thus making this a fully automatic cobblestone generator instead of just a regular old cobblestone generator and similar to that there is the uh, what is it staircase right above the wither and the fence post slash uh, cobblestone wall underneath the wither to hold it in place the wither targets the villager that I placed right here I put him on a minecart just to make sure that he's aligned and doesn't move around when the wither gets summoned and the wither's two heads are busy trying to shoot at this iron golem right here which it can't reach right so that's the simple explanation of the wither cage that i have already explained some time ago over here we just have a standard lava pillar with two water pillars at the two sides which produce two lines of cobblestones each line being four high so there's four on one side four on the other and uh, then all of that is just connected down here to a very simple clock uh, damn i forgot the guy's name again he's i'm this literally the second or third time i'm already using the design here and i can't remember his name that's unfortunate it'll be in the description but anyway the guy designed a nice uh, counter hero so every time over here there is a simple clock with uh, two repeaters on four ticks into the comparator and it just keeps looping around at every loop it sends off a pulse for the pistons to go forward while simultaneously causing this dropper over here to count one down once it reaches to zero this hop the dropper is right here i should yeah that, those are droppers too as you should have seen I said hoppers for some reason, but right, droppers, so this iron door from here travels to here, which causes this clock to rapidly pulse, pulling all the items from here back into here so it can start all over. And anytime that happens, it sends off a single pulse going up, which uh, triggers the dispenser along right over there. A bit difficult to see, but there's the dispenser here with hoppers feeding into it with arrows and anytime it let me get out of here come on oh give me a moment there we go and anytime it tr gets triggered the wither gets hit and breaks the uh what is it 12 i think uh how many are there 24 right 12 on each side uh blocks of cobblestone so yeah uh let's see Actually, I think I was wrong. It's not 1,500, it's actually 750 arrows per hour because I was only counting for one side when I was doing that calculation. Stupid me. But oh well. Anyway, very uh, simple design actually, or at least I think it was. It was actually sort of tricky to get it all positioned so close to each other because of all the redstone and water and lava that had to be properly separated. But anyway down below just a set of hoppers if you are really quick at math while watching videos you should already know then that it's producing cobblestone faster that than a single hopper chain can handle which is why there's two hopper chains feeding into this dropper and i needed a bit of distance in between which is why i put in a dropper feeding into another dropper but yeah that's just a bit of technicalities there over here is just a very simple switch so you can turn it on and off if it's off it just doesn't do anything if you turn it back on it continues from wherever it left off very simple quite easy actually or at least i think so naturally there shouldn't be a hole here because otherwise the cobblestone will get stuck along the side there but yeah i just wanted to show you that and uh, i believe that's actually it over here is just my simple set up to give me arrows since i didn't feel like you know giving myself arrows from the uh panel here instead of just have an automatic 
This is not part of the design, but I'll leave it for anyone who wants to refill the chest. But anyway, once it's produced here, at the moment it just throws it off into nowhere more or less. But not in regular terms, it should be like this with all the cobblestone going up test's elevator up into here and sorting them out into this 3x3 three three set of double chests. I turned it off. Alright, so yeah, rather... Hmm, what do I have here? Yeah, I don't know why that's there. Anyway, so yeah, and over here is just a single chest of arrows. As I already told you, basically per hour you use up... Uh, Roughly, what is it? Let's call it 12 stacks of arrows. So, you know, that should last you for quite a bit. If you want, you can obviously put it, there's a bit more space here, so you can stack them more to give you more time. But yeah, I don't think anyone needs that much cobblestone. So yeah, that's about it. Very compact design. Personally, I liked it. Even though for some reason this was actually one of the longest projects I've worked on. This is actually version 7 of the cobblestone generator and the reason for that is that when I started this I did not have the single player version of the wither cage complete yet so I had to do several tries so this uh, setup here actually doubled as my test scenario for trying out the different wither cages. Kind of an, just you know interesting side note there. So yeah, that's about it, all I wanted to share with you guys today, so, you know, like, subscribe, uh, comment, definitely comment, I really do like and appreciate you leaving me messages on what you think, anything from, you know, I really like the design and I'm planning on using it, all the way to, this is the 45th comment, yay. Yeah, just, you know, yeah, anyway, so that's enough from me from babbling again at the end of the video, so I'll just be signing off now. See you guys.